What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at the European Club Championships. Now you can get a free spin by playing the Brazilian Club versus AI event, the tour event here. You literally just need to rack up a couple of points in that. You can sim the games versus the AI and collect all the rewards. And if you are a newcomer, that is a very handy way to get a free spin, right? So we're going to take a look at the pack here. We're not going to spend too much time in it because to be honest with you lads, I don't know about G, but these packs are kind of disappointing now, man. To be honest, I don't think that there's really a reason for the Player of the Weeks anymore. Uh, I, I don't know why, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Obviously, it's nice to have players that you might never get a card of, such as Bob here, Sideshow Bob. But I do feel like that these cards are kind of like lost in translation now. In saying that, I do know that they are perfect entry point for newcomers. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you like the Player of the Weeks every week or do you look forward to them or, you know, is it something that you're kind of like, you could take or leave now, right? Because we do have a couple of players in here that are definitely usable, such as Chuck Wazy, right? He's got blister and pace, really good dribbling. His balance lets him down slightly and the fact that he can play through the middle with those stats or with that whole player. But I think playing him as a right wing or left wing is going to be good. Type possession and balance are kind of like pretty, uh, pretty nice. You know, it's going to be 85 type possession with the manager boost. And as I said in the last video that I did on the manager, it's not just the coin managers, you know, the ones you have to buy with coins like Ten Hag and Xavi and Inzaghi and them that give you the plus two manager boost. Every manager that has a player proficiency of 85 plus, such as Valbuena, such as Klopp, such as any of those managers, they will give you the plus two boost. So Chuck Wazy's acceleration will become 99 in game with one of those managers like Guardiola or someone like that. But yeah, it's an okay card. Scissors uh, feigned, double touch, soul control, and of course, outside corner and super sub. If he had flip flap, it would have been beautiful on this card for the ball roll, but alas, he does not. So it's a bit of a down point on that. We also have Dix, right? So Dix is a centre back um, playing for Copenhagen. Um, and listen, I do think that this, car this card is good. Uh, but I don't feel that this card is something that you're going to be using unless you are genuinely after downloading the game the last week. He's got inconsistent form. He has blocker and interception and acrobatic clearance, but he doesn't have aerial superiority. He's uh, pretty decent and fast as a destroyer, one of the fastest destroyer center backs in the game. Uh, but his defensive awareness and aggression is going to let him down. Plus, his uh, his heading and physical contact are not great either. But listen, if you do get him and you're a newcomer, this guy is a very good entry point into what works in the game defensively if you are learning the mechanics of the game. We've also got Bob, really good tight possession. He scored, obviously, the other day. Acceleration is good. Speed is good. Balance is good. This card, I think, is going to be phenomenal. Basically, if any card has tight possession and balance into the 90s, it's going to be good. Now, he doesn't have the, that many player skills. One-touch pass is okay. Soul control is okay. Um, but he doesn't have double touch. He doesn't have first-time shot. He doesn't have any of those skills that you need for a center forward. But I do like this card. You're going to have 90 ball control with the manager boost, 92 tight possession and balance, and, of course, 89 acceleration. Would it be nice to get to 90 acceleration and 90 finishing to make him really, really meta? But this card will definitely be usable uh, quite a lot. And he has track back and no-look pass as well as being able to play right mid and anywhere through the middle. It's, it's a nice card, man. It's a very nice card. And this is what they should be doing more of, unique cards like this that you just can't get anywhere else. Joe Hart, I mean, it's an okay goalkeeper. You can't train any of these. He doesn't have any player skills apart from low punt. He doesn't have a long throw, which is a big no-no for me. If a goalkeeper doesn't have a low punt and long throw and reflexes at least 90, I don't even look at him, man. I don't even waste my time because that's where, you know, the goalkeepers need to be. Um, but if you're a Celtic fan, obviously, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice one for you guys. Well, I'm a Celtic fan myself, but, um, you know, Celtic fans will like the fact that he's there because he hasn't been there before. Uh, we've also another prolific winger, Fulgini. For, Fulgini. Um, just an average winger, lads. That balance lets him down quite a lot. Even though he's got super sub, it's not a card that I would really recommend. But if you do spin him on your freebie, give him a go. De Maria is definitely somebody that I recommend. So similar to Modric, uh, De Maria and Modric are kind of similar players, right? Modric is in the other pack. We did a review on him already. Excellent passing, dribbling, and movement. Like one of the best players creatively in the game. I actually love playing with him. He's got brilliant player skills. Everything that you could possibly want for a creative playmaker. And he can play pretty much anywhere that you want, left or right or through the middle. So I would have liked to have seen him have... Um, you know, a double touch, I definitely would think that would be it, but it probably doesn't really suit De Maria's game, to be honest, so I do like that card. Same with this guy, he's a rocket, 99 speed, 98 acceleration, he's going to be maxed out on that, 
rising shot, long range shooting, one touch pass. This guy kind of reminds me of Hulk, man. Obviously, he's got the kicking power, he's got the stamina, the speed, the acceleration. Hulk from a few years back in the, the Pez series. Really good dribbling as well, but his tight possession and balance will let this card down. I would just be playing him as a long range shooting option just to keep your opponent honest. One touch pass, long range shooting, true passing all do help this card and it's a very unique card these are the type of cards that i like him and bob are probably the two that i would be interested in getting just to try them out uh Jocelyn then as well um Hoselu, this guy is it Jocelyn? Hoselu. i can't remember lads i'm half sick uh first time shot one touch pass very decent aerial superiority fighting spirit heading is pretty decent balance is uh pretty poor though that's the key with this stat is uh or with this card that that stat there is is pretty poor even though he's got unwavering form um, we already covered Chuck Wazy's just pure speed. Uh, this guy, again, as a left back, I've always said that if you are looking for a left back, I would use an attacking option. So this guy isn't bad, but his aggression is quite poor. His acceleration is good, but his low pass and lofty pass uh, leave a lot to be desired. Plus, he does have some nice player skills, but he doesn't have any defensive capabilities whatsoever. So unless you're using the likes of Roberto Carlos, this guy wouldn't be a bad option at all with nice finishing. We also have Oshi. So Oshiman is a good card as well, bit slow, his balance kills the card for him and a lot of his cards haven't really rectified that and this one is no different even though he does have the Batman mask on um, if you have missed out on Oshi before. He's not a bad card, I scored a lot of goals with his, his, his previous card, his big time one, um, but then he just kind of got nerfed into the ground and then we have Uppa, Uppa Meccano. A very nice solid build-up card, plays like a destroyer without the acceleration, strong physical, blocker, air superiority, interception, slight and tackle, acrobatic clearance, he also has heading, but he does have way to pass and low lofted as well as fighting spirit, so I definitely think up Meccano, if he was on A form this week, would be worth a massive uh, a massive try i think he's a really really good player in the card in our card in the game um and he plays really nice on the pitch as well but that physical contact and speed are a very unique mixture of stats right and then you add into that the aggression and the tackling which are going to be over you know 95 or over tackling is going to be 96 aggression is going to be 95 defensive engagement is going to be 90 this is probably the pick of the pack i would say um you probably by now have a centre back that's going to be as good as Upper Meccano, or if you've spun, <coughs> excuse me, and you've got a couple of legends or whatever. If you are a newcomer, I would definitely recommend you try him out because you will be surprised at his positioning. Uh, it's really, really good. I have used a lot of Upper Meccano cards, and he does a lot of things right. Uh, I would say the licked position wise is probably a little bit better because of the lack of pace but up Meccano man when you're not controlling him covers so much ground defensively just getting into position it, it really is nice with that speed I mean a lot of people ask me about speed versus acceleration I will do a full video on that um, when we get back we have a wedding this weekend so when we get back from that we will do a few videos on that but yeah he is a good choice so let me know what you guys think of this <clears throat> again i think it's pretty poor uh european club championship and worldwide are both poor this week but let me know if you're going to spin or skip you might as well get the free one anyway and see who you get i would like Modric and up and mechano with my freebies that would be nice but uh let me know what you guys think and i'll talk to you in a bit don't forget to like and subscribe